Hello everyone, Carmen from New York here with photo class number 244. I've been a photographer here in New York City for the last 50 years, giving to you guys all of my experience. And all I ask is that you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and send me an email. I will answer for free any of your photography questions. Black and white photo at AOL.com is my email address. I want you guys to go to my free website, CarmineTaverna.com. It has 5,000 of my photographs that I My website best. has only one reason for existing. It's completely free. You can't buy anything. It's to give you guys ideas on what to photograph, what equipment was used in each photograph. I coined the phrase long time ago, photo block. And it's the equivalent that writers get when they get writer's block. They just can't think of anything to write. And I want to stop that from you guys when you can't think of anything to photograph. Just go to my website. There's a link in the description. Right, guys. Today's go. class number 244 is all about this camera this is the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark 1 it doesn't say Mark 1 it's the original there have been other variations of this the Mark 2 the Mark 3 etc but this is the original this is my go-to travel camera. It has the best flip screen you'll ever see. What is this for? This is for shooting nice steady shots. Say you have a long exposure, you can look down and hold it. For macro, you can hold it down. Now it doesn't flip forward, right? But it does flip up and down. This, of course, is if you wanted to get some high shots or some shots like this, some covert street photography. If you're looking this way with the screen in this orientation, you can shoot photographs that way. I've used this many, many times in street photography. So we have a lot to go over today. This camera, okay, let's just go over prices because as you know, the foundation of my channel is professional quality photography at low budget camera equipment. There's no reason to spend $5,000 on a camera ever. So this camera, the OM, the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark I, the original, it was $700 when it came out in 2014. Now you can get them. The prices are all over the place, depending if you want to get a lens with it or not. They run from about $250 to $350. Now, a few things. Uh, I took many, many photographs uh, just this weekend. I went to Pennsylvania. I did a wedding. And on my time off, I did shoot the area. It was in a little town called Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It's only 90 minutes outside of Manhattan, okay? That's why I agreed to do the gig. But we're going to take a look at those photographs. Now, the photographs you'll see, okay, were taken with this camera by me, the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark I, with this lens. This is the Olympus 14 to 150 uh, f4 to f5.6 Roman numeral 2, okay? Great lens wonderful lens. I shot the whole job with this camera. ISO right, 
is 200 to over 25,000, right? The max is 25,600 ISO for beautiful photographs. All right, now, there's a lot of specs on this camera, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link in the description to the specs because there's just too many. I don't wanna leave out any specs. So if you click on the description, in the description, you'll click on a box, uh, on a link that says uh, the specs for this camera. It'll give you all of them. Okay, now, um, <clears throat> I just want to go over my personal favorites of the reasons I bought this camera. So it's 16 megapixels. It's a four thirds sensor, right? The mount, the lens mount is micro four thirds. Okay, I'll show you the mount, what it looks like. Okay, that is what a micro four thirds lens looks like. This is the uh, lens Next. mount. Okay. It has uh, an electronic viewfinder built in. A lot of cameras these days, if you want an electronic viewfinder, you have to buy it separately, an EVF that slips into the hot shoe. Not in this case. It has a large screen and a beautiful, clear, crisp electronic viewfinder. So this also has a pop-up flash. Now, pay attention. This is a $5 accessory. I'll put a slide up where you can get it on Amazon for 5 or $6. It slips into the hot shoe. What it does is this is a pop-up flash diffuser. The flash, when you fire the flash, it goes through the diffuser and there's, I don't know about millions, but there's thousands of these little dimples and it's curved and it spreads the light so softly you will not get harsh shadows like you would without it. Okay, pop-up flash user. This is the best $6 accessory you can ever buy for yourself. Even if you use it once a year. Okay, so let's put this, the protective slide back on top of the hot shoe. Okay, let's keep going. Now, in this case, because I have huge hands, being 6'2", okay, I purchased this additional grip, okay? Now, this additional grip is called the ECG-1 from Olympus, okay? It's the only two-part grip I've ever seen, okay? It's all metal, and it comes off like this. You push this slide, then it comes off like this. It's very small, but it does give you that extra width to grip the camera, okay? Now, here's what I mean by two parts. This isn't the, the first part that goes onto the camera into the tripod mounting hole. The reason it's two parts is that instead of unscrewing it every time you want to access the battery compartment, right? It's split in half so you have full access to the battery compartment and the SD card slot. This has one SD card slot. The battery, okay, is pretty small but powerful. This is, uses the Olympus BLS-5 battery. Now, if you see all this writing on my batteries, it's because this BLS-5 battery fits so many cameras. The Olympus EM10, the E620, the EPL6, the EPL3, the EPL8, the EPLIS. It fits many cameras. So you don't have to buy this battery if you have those cameras. Okay, so the grip just slips on, hook on it to the side, bring it down, listen, click, done. Okay, so that's the grip. That battery will give you 320 shots. That's quite a bit. Should you have more? Of course, I have six. Keep them topped off, meaning fully charged, keep them in your bag. And six of these batteries will not take up a lot of room in your bag. Uh, 
so you can I shot raw and JPEGs with the camera uh, now this camera the crop factor is two times very easy to remember so on your lens right 14 to 150 if it was a 35 millimeter camera it would be tw a 28 to 300 in this little form factor okay but that's a 300 millimeter lens and it's not even longer than the length of my hand. Uh, this camera has a touch screen on the back. How convenient is that? It does have three dials on top, okay? Full uh, mode dial, full um, exposure compensation now, dial, the mode dial on top, right? Has M for manual, A for aperture priority, S for shutter priority, and P for program mode. Plus it has some scene and some kind of auto uh, function as well. Okay, now many manufacturers make lenses for the Micro Four Thirds system. I pulled out a few of my favorites and I'm going to show you the lens and then I'll show you a photograph that I took with it. Okay, here's the first lens. Okay, pancake lens. This is the Olympus 9mm F8 fisheye lens. Okay, it's a manual focus, right? You focus from the switch on the bottom. It's not autofocus. But let's take a look at what this 9mm lens is. Here is the lens mount, the plastic lens mount. Right? These are pretty inexpensive, okay? Now, with the fish, with this fisheye lens, it doesn't give you those curved edges. It gives you a nice wide picture. Next in the lineup I want to show you is this. This is a Seven Artisans all metal, very heavy lens, okay? This is manual focus, wide lens. It's a 12 millimeter F2.8. Look at this lens, how gorgeous. Metal lens mount from Seven Artisans. Let's take a look at the photo this time. Metal lens cap, that's a nice touch. And these lenses, Micro Four Thirds mount lenses, are pretty inexpensive. Next in the lineup I want to show you is this behemoth. <laughs> this is my favorite lens okay this is the Olympus 100 to 400 uh, f5 to 6.3 image stabilized lens autofocus okay now look at that gorgeous lens now let's take a look at a photograph that this time This lens, now remember it's a 100 to 400 with a 2x crop factor. This is in real life, 200 to 800 millimeter lens. <clears throat> this is a Pro Olympus lens. This is the 12 to 100 F4 constant image stabilized lens from Olympus. Let's take a look at what a photograph that this took. This is the 12 to 100. You guys love to know my settings. My settings for this weekend were aperture priority, f8. Why f8? Generally, f8 is the sharpest f-stop, the sharpest aperture on most lenses. f8. So that's my go-to, aperture priority f8. My ISO, I keep it as low as possible, in this case 200, except in some shots like this. When it was getting towards evening and I wanted to have a faster shutter speed, 
because I didn't want it to shake. Even though it has image stabilization, you have to still help it. I hope you enjoyed looking at the photographs. I hope you enjoyed this class. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Email me at blackandwhitephoto at AOL.com. I'll answer any photographic question you have in one day or less. All right, comment below and goodbye from New York. Thank you.